What do you do when it, when it happens? Matthew 14, f- famous passage. The disciples are in a boat. There's a boisterous storm and Jesus comes walking on the water. And all of a sudden, Peter sees him out there. And I- I've read this passage so many times. I'm a, I'm a pastor's kid. You have to understand this. So I come by this honestly. Uh, I didn't choose this life. This life chose me. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know anything else. Um, so I've read this passage and I remember I read it recently and I, I could have sworn I could have sworn that it was Jesus who asked Peter to come on the water, but then I realized it was Peter's idea. Peter walking on the water was Peter's idea. It wasn't Jesus. Jesus simply said, come. So in a sense, it was Peter's prayer request to walk on the water. And all Jesus did was say, I'll make it happen. And notice this. Peter had his eyes completely on Jesus when he was making the request and took his eyes off Jesus once Jesus granted the request. And I think that's where we get off. We're really good at looking to Jesus while we're asking for the provision. We're really good at looking to Jesus when we're asking for the relationship. We're really good at looking to Jesus when we're praying for the ministry to take off. But what about once it does? What do you do when it, when it happens? You got to stay focused on the one who started it all.